people. Welcome to Kimba's Crafts. My name is Kim and if you're new here, hello, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back guys. Love you. So we are here. We're going to do more of this. Um, sorry. <laughs> we're going to tackle more of this um, cross stitch, uh, counted cross stitch onto a canvas. So I am still working on my starry night. Let me let me give you guys a sneak peek. Let me give you guys a sneak peek. I'm sorry, I keep turning my head. So this is what I've gotten done. I've gotten basically the whole sky. Okay, and this is how they fit. And I think you saw, maybe you saw that, I don't know. But I got the whole sky and the coffee mug. So I got all of that done. I am waiting for drills to be delivered, I think today, to finish, because I, I, I didn't have any colors and or enough of co any colors to do all of that background that matched up enough, so I ordered it. They should be here today, so we might be finishing that together as well. Hey guys, I'm just adding this in with a voiceover because I don't tell you until like 35 minutes into this video, what I'm working on. So this is the pattern that I'm working on. It's from Stitch Patterns on Etsy. And um, I'm changing the colors in it and using different uh, types of drills. But this is gonna be the pattern that we're gonna be putting together and working on today. But I'm also starting a new one because I really wanna see how well these sheets put together. They're they're, they're on the thick side, okay? So my concern is, now that Tammy, that Tammy girl on Diamond Painting Between the Lines, she is smart cookie. Well, I mean, where did that saying come from anyway? Anyway, like, you never hear anybody say, she's a dumb cookie. But anyway, um, the transparency paper, maybe I... I I didn't think of this, but like when you put one on top of the other, there's going to be a lip. So I started thinking about that and I was like, hmm, this might only be something that you can do for, um, you know, ones that you don't have to build. And I really want to test that out, especially like, yeah, like, if I have to overlap here and then and then overlap here. I mean you're you're putting a lot of canvas on top of a lot of canvas. That's getting thick. Right? Is that how it would go? That's too much. I can tell you that right now. But we're gonna try it. We're gonna we're gonna try it because I'm I'm getting ready to do. Um, I'm doing this four piece one. So we're gonna start it together, and we're gonna see how how I plan on putting them together and all of that. But first, we got to pick our colors because I've decided to do this. I'm gonna chart it on my own. I'm gonna chart it on my own. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't have all the colors. And then I came up with this cool idea of using rhinestones in here and then doing the background. Instead of doing the background black, I'm gonna do the background white. And I'm not gonna do, I mean, instead of doing it white, I'm gonna do it black. And I'm not gonna do all of this. I am gonna cut it off here. So I'm only gonna lay down enough adhesive to go up to here and I'm gonna cut it off here. I could even cut it off more, but I have a lot of 310s coming so that I can do this project or at least attempt it. Cause I don't know how it's gonna work with this being as thick as it is. So, you know, the laminated paper and is, is definitely gonna be thinner. I mean, I, I don't think laminated sheets are very thick. I don't know though. Um, I guess we'll see if Joan runs into that issue. But again, she's just been doing um, 
I think she's just been doing like one page ones. This, this is great for one page ones, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see how it, it turns out. So basically I need to pick out colors to kind of match these colors here. And so that's why I got these. So what I think I'm gonna use I'm gonna, for this part, Let me see, let me see. I gotta look at the picture again and see all the colors that I need. Also, I had to scale this on my own, so I hope I did, did it right. I don't even know if I did it right. So there's that on top of it. So we're gonna be um, trialing that as well. Okay, so we are gonna do this color thirty six oh seven for the hot pink, and I think I'm going to do nine forty five for inside the band aid, and then I'm going to do Seven forty-one for outside the band-aid, and then we're going to do nine. Is that green or aqua? Nine forty-three for this one. And we're going to do you can't really see it, but there's three of this color drill here. So those are the ones we're going to use. And then when I get my 310. And I think that's all the colors I need for this one. So one, two, three, four. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And we're going to try out my new boxes here. Um, I'm going to make stickers. I'm going to make stickers. Let me print up I'm going to print this up Okay. You print that. Oh. Silly rabbit. All right, I made them big so that I can put them the symbols on my containers here. So we're going to do some washi on the containers because why not? I got this. This is my mermaid washi that I used on my craftably. So that's too much. 
Look how pretty. One. Honestly, I feel like I don't really need to do all this because it's pretty it's pretty obvious where these colors go. But let's just test out all our new things, okay? So we have our boxes here and I'm going to test this out. I'm going to test out my um double-sided adhesive here. So Here's the thing. This is going to be one. And here's this. smart okay let's let's do this let's cut that and then I got to lay it on it like this okay now I don't need all of that so there's that. Now, whoops. <laughs> I just got to take that part off. And stick that on there. Take this part off. Like that. Okay, so oh wait, that's not even the right color that I'm using. <laughs> okay, so and look at that. It comes right off. Look at that. So we're gonna oh my goodness. Why can't I see? Oh well this is interchangeable. So go like that. Oh man, kid up fails. Let's get this in here. All right, and it's seven ninety six. Okay, so that's a thousand drills. So you can easily get two two grand in there, right? All right. So can I write on washi? Boom. Okay, so that's all I have to do then. All I have to do is the, the, the symbol, the symbol sticker. Okay. And honestly, I don't even have to do that, but I'm gonna, because I have double-sided adhesive tape. 
This is a little, this is the thinnest. you on here and you are 3607 3607 now I hope that stays on there it does This one and this one is the inside of the band-aid so it's my 945 We got the pug in the house, and she is snoring up a storm. Nine, four, five. And then we have. So I don't need the star because the star is white, and I'm doing black, maybe. I mean, black. need these two and what was this making sure they're different enough. I think so. Okay, and that's seven, four, one. And then we just have this one. Awesome. So much cheaper than Xyron, too, you know? So a couple extra steps, but... And it's 943. 943. And... Fill this one up and then we'll get rid of the trash and then we'll put the double-sided adhesive on this and I'll show you how I plan on doing that. Okay, so this is garbage. This is where, what we're going to print up the second part on. Let me just get all this garbage out of here. Ooh, we need you. Okay. All right. We're also gonna, so I had to size this myself and I went on Jones 
diamond painting to try to see if I could use her um, what is it called? If I could use her um, calculation and man that that was over my head. I ain't even gonna lie. I was like, huh? <laughs> I just like that, huh? Okay. Um, let me see if my paper cutter will cut this. Now, the thing about these is this is not like heaven and earth designs where it has an overlap. It stops directly on whatever. So I don't know if my paper cutter will cut this. I'm going to say no, but you know, I could always be wrong. <laughs> so there you go. All right. So I, I cut that off because this is how I'm going to do it. All right. I'm actually only going to, to do this area here. Again, this is all trials, so I don't know, I don't know. to put it here and so if I do that Put it on this line here. Okay, that's a spare. And then
that is is this good yes yes it is okay so that's what we need so what we need to do now is so we need to be able to peel back the yellow part Along the top here. Oh, no, no. It's coming up. Ah, stop it. I'm creating rivers and bubbles and stuff. I'm like lifting it. reason that, that that is happening is that it's bending. So I can't, I can't seem to get I can't seem to get it away from the white paper. Okay, so the way I want to do it is I want to lay it down like so. Here's the thing. I mean, I could use my ruler. Here's the thing that she, Tammy, recommended to get. swap them out. I can change them this for this. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to once again take my cutter here and I'm going to leave this on side too. All right, so there's a lot of questions here. Is this going to get put together okay? Is um, my scale okay? Okay, is the yellow going to come off? Why is the yellow not coming off? Okay, and we're just gonna we're just gonna try this heart here. We're gonna try it because that's what we do. Let's see what happens. All right, 
Pop. Just squeeze the sides there. Where's a pen? Give me a pen, any pen. All right, let's see here. Let's see, how does this, how does this look? Okay, that worked. That worked. That worked. Snap it up. Snap a dazzle. Oh, I was like, why can't I see? That's why. I absolutely need the light pad. I don't know how anybody can see without the light pad. You think my dog pulls sleds or something for a living? Over there sounding like a mess. <laughs> She full on lives pug life though. All right, so I think the grid is good. I hope. I mean, so far it looks okay because I'm gonna be doing black three tens, normal drills. So the grid's gotta be on point. All right. This is how I figured out the grid, trial and error. I mean, to be quite honest with you. So I, I'm i noticing that the first one that I did, I, I printed it according to, I just got the measurement from Tammy's video and I just printed it according to that and it worked. I was just, it was just pure luck though, to be honest with you. Um, Cause then when I printed another one and I always print it on paper first, so always test it on paper, it was too big. So what I did for this one is, look how pretty that is. Look at my pretty little hearts. What I did for this one is, is I printed it the actual size and I lined it up and it was too big. So then I um, went down. So this, so this is a hundred percent. So then I went down to 99 and that's what worked. So um, that's how I did mine. And it was, like I said, I was just, it was just luck. Um, because, I mean, so far it looks like it's, it's good to go. All right, let's see how close these are. And my, my drills are supposed to be here today. So if I see the, the post office man, Driving by, I will go out to my mailbox. I've been out to the mailbox twice already. And Bob and I had to go to the drugstore to get him some medicine early this morning. And I saw the mailman. Now it's the afternoon now. I saw the mailman. Our development is kind of big. And I did see him. And zipping around in his little mail cart at the front of our development. All right, let's try to multi-place because this band-aid is asking for it. Okay.
All right. So far, the grid looks perfect. So that makes me really happy. And again, the way I test it is I get out a canvas that I'm working on and I line it up. And I see if they match. You have to follow it for a while. You can't just look at, you know, a couple of them. You have to make sure it keeps lining up across the whole page because it might start going off the rails for some reason. All right, so that's that. I'll come over here and do this. I know I, I didn't show you. Oh, I should show you the, um. I, I can show you the picture without showing you the, the whole pattern. Silly girl. Okay, yeah, let me do that once I get all these down. I, I forgot, I was sitting here thinking I can't show you what I'm working on. I am doing So it's a nurse theme and it's from the Etsy shop. S the stitch patterns where I got the lifetime membership. And so it, it is for small panels that I have to connect. And um, so this is the Band-Aid, a heart, part of the stethoscope. So I only, I only need three of these. And then Oh, that's right. I didn't want to. That's right. Remember they say you shouldn't do the end here because you don't want it. you want to be able to connect it with a seamlessly. So I'm going to stop doing, well, that's all I can do. I forgot about that. So I don't have to worry about this end. I don't have to worry about that end, but I do have to worry about down here. So I can do a little more of this. And then we're going to, um, we're gonna print up a little more, uh, one more panel. Either the bottom panel or the right panel. And we'll see how to connect them. We'll do it together. I just wanted to test it out before I print it up using another piece of this paper. I wanted to make sure that they lined up and they do. So I can stop after this, but um, I think that this, this is a good test here, this big part of the O. I mean, I 
haven't done any of my diamond painting Deutschland this week since I posted my update video. I have been doing all kinds of crazy things here. And uh, yeah, as soon as I'm done this, I need to get back to that. So I'm starting to feel like, is the is is it too big? Oh no, I needed to go over that black line. Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. Okay, so let me print up. Um, I'll print up the bottom page. And we'll connect that one. So the bottom page is one, how many pages down? I gotta go back up to the top. One, two, three, four, five. five. So I need page five. So I'm gonna hit print. Oh, I need to put, I need to load in my canvas paper. to match up exactly okay so here we are so this goes from one to nine and then I have ten here okay so I should have cut off here or no I can cut off here all right, so we're gonna have to cut off here. Oh man, I printed it on the wrong side. I'm like, why does it look so different? I can still print it on the other side. Remember that whole, you got, I got on my thing, I gotta put the good side down. Darn. Print page. Five more settings ninety nine print okay all right so the way we're gonna do this is yeah do this is I'm going to cut it with my scissors straight across. Do I trust myself? I think I trust myself with the scissors more. I, I got to do it this way though. Exactly on the line because there is no overlapping in this pattern. that and then what I have 
have to do is I have to line it up I exactly Oh, you know what? Where I cut it, it didn't stay on there. So I want this to go back on here. So what I did was, is I cut it where these two overlapped because then it's going to be three pieces overlapping and that is going to be way too thick. So I'm still questioning. I don't know how this is going to, I don't know if this is a good idea. Um, be honest with you guys, because this is, this, there's an overlap here. So we are going to put it together. Like, oh, look how this fits perfectly with the other piece. I wonder if I'm going to be able to get the yellow part off this time. And we're going to try that overlap right there. Hold on, guys. I'm just trying to separate this. To where I cut it.
I put double-sided adhesive on this thing too. That's okay. I'm not gonna worry about that. What I really wanna know is how this is going to diamond paint. So this is um, my huge question. So I'm going to go back to this color here. So, let's see guys, looking at it head on, you can't see it, but I want to show you how much thicker it is so you can just see. But yeah, looking at it head on, I can't tell, but um, I want to finish it up and really see. I want to put all four panels together and really give you an idea if this is a good idea or not. I like how it feels. You, it feels like you're diamond painting on a regular canvas without having to do all the extra steps. But I do feel like maybe this is more hard because you gotta like cut out pieces, make sure it doesn't overlap too many times. Like if you're willing to do all that, concentrating here on it. <laughs> they call you here my pug snores, but I, I'm just trying to make sure I also don't want to rush it because I want to make sure you know I'm diamond painting my normal this little crack here. Alright, let's see. Can you tell? I 
I don't think you can when it's diamond painted, but I, I guess you can. Huh? Like in real life. I got to see it with all the drills on. I can't tell. I really need to see it with all the drills on. I mean, other than that, it, it's definitely, this, this stuff is definitely nice. I mean, it, it might not be necessary for single page projects. Like maybe you don't need to spend all the money. Um, apparently Stone Magpie, because she wrote me, and she said that she has a video of doing this on like, I guess like cardstock, like printing up patterns on cardstock that she did a couple years ago. So, or a year ago or something, I don't know. I got to find that video though. I, I didn't realize that she had a video out about this. And um, she said that, you know, it, it worked fine on paper, just on heavier, heavier duty paper. And that it looks, she, she, she wrote in my comments, she said it looks just as good today as it did when I made it. So she was saying like, you know, the, the spending this extra money is, is probably unnecessary. Now, I thought I wouldn't want to do a large project on paper. Like, uh, I wouldn't want to invest all my time, energy, and, you know, money for drills and stuff to do a project on paper. Like, if it was, you know... I mean, you know, a small project, it's fine, I think. But like a large project where like it has a, you know, I, I would worry about it tearing, you know, just of it tearing and ripping. Like that would, um, I couldn't imagine doing a large project and then like tearing it by accident or something because they get very heavy, right? And um, so that, that would be a concern of mine. But on a small project, you know, it's one piece. You don't need to worry about, I mean, not that you wouldn't need to worry about tearing it. Like, of course you'd still need to worry about tearing it, but it's not as heavy. You know, and like there'd be less, less concern of accidentally damaging it. Let's just put it that way, right? So this is the part where it, it's nice when you can just get your head right into it. But So I was thinking that I wanted to use this kind of paper for a large, this canvas paper. For large projects but then as I thought about it I'm like well this is awfully thick so then I you know I'm thinking about it more and now my concern is will they seamlessly go together that is a valid concern so that's where that smart cookie um, you know, the transparency paper is, is probably thinner than regular paper. So, you know, you could layer it and layer it and layer it. Now, so far, I don't see a problem with it, with just putting these two pieces together. And I think I have a way to keep the corner of all four of them coming together a mess. But that being said, um, a really, really large project, I don't know. I would have 
have to take the time to work on doing that to give you a valid, true, 100%. Hey, this, like, the way she did, she took months and months to do three diamond paintings to be able to say, like, hey, this works. Look at, look at this. Like, I haven't taken that much time, guys. I literally am doing this with you and figuring out the goods and the bads as I go along. And, um, I mean, so far, again, I would have to see all the drills on it. I wonder how the black drills will, will look. I don't know. But I'm going to finish, I'm going to finish this Odo. So that's my main concern. Get more drills in here. Finish this O and then we'll do the band-aid. Now that's a lighter color. Maybe there's going to be a difference in the way that looks. I'm going to turn a project for the first time ever. dragon in the room. Okay. I'm just going to finish this O and then we're going to move on to the band-aid and see how the band-aid So I do have a max color the drills that I, I bought all this last year before I think it was before Tammy released any of her videos but I I mean at that point I probably would have bought it anyway because I was um I was too busy to research doing this method here and so, but I, I'm pretty sure it was before. And I got, um, cause it was like in October. Did she start releasing her stuff that early? But I, um, I bought all, I bought a blank canvas and all the drills for a project. that I was hoping to get to this year. And now it's like, I don't know what to do. Should I do it the traditional way and use the canvas I bought? Cause I really don't want to waste it. But, and you know, there's specific sizes. <laughs> I haven't seen another one um, for this particular size either. It's a square. Um, or do I just do, try to do it like this? And I think um, Tammy 
these measurements work on her measurement that she lists works on all heaven and earth design so there's also that too like um with these other companies you have to kind of figure out you have to figure out what size to make the grids and what scale to print it at i got lucky that first one i think this one didn't print up right when i used her size and i guess that's why joan made her own calculation because it probably doesn't work all the time I'm trying to figure out if it's based on the Ada cloth that's listed. Um, I can't tell if that has anything to do with it. I don't think that it does because the Starry Coffee says that it's on, like it gives the sizes for if it's on 18 count Ada cloth. And it seems like all of Heaven and Earth designs, it's, um, their sizes are based on 24 count. So I, I feel like that has nothing to do with it. Because this, this one was on 14 count and I did have to scale down. The other one was on, the Starry Coffee was on 18 and it was perfect. The size that I, um, Tammy recommends, which means, you know, it should have been too big. What do you think guys? Can you tell? All right, so I put, look what I did. I was trying to uh, do my little hack with the tape there. So that looks fine. I mean, it does look okay. I kind of rushed that, so I don't feel like they're so super straight, but let's, let's do the band-aid. Let's do the band-aid because I'm not convinced all right, so this is the outside of the Band-Aid. I am not 100% convinced. Are you not entertained? I'm sorry. <laughs> this is... What is that from? Braveheart. Love that movie. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, I lied. That was from Gladiator. Are you not entertained? I'm going over the bump. I haven't tried like diamond painting like under and then 
over. I don't know. I feel like it'll be more seamless if I just do it like this. This is definitely going to be a long video, but I did say I like long videos. I just want to um, test this guy out with you guys. And I was waiting for my drills so I could do it. I don't know, I might try the transparency paper too. Because that looked really cool when Joan turned hers around. And um, you could see all the colors. I was like, ooh, so pretty. The one thing about this is, like, you don't have to remember to change any settings except for the print size in your in your printer like i would have to look and see do i even have the setting transparency transparent for transparency paper i would have to look This is, uh, Ooh, I pushed it too much there. Well, you see it slides. All right. So this is the weirdest shade band-aid. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know why I'm using this little itty bitty tray here. Come on. TP gal tray here. Alright, so four. Boom. And now this see that's the bump when it didn't take the drill off Let's see that was the bump from the paper underneath or the canvas underneath so you can feel it feel where it overlaps underneath too see it, there it took it that time I can't be that zoomed in because I can't get my head over to it enough. I uh, the the uh so so far, I mean the blue O in love, that's a dark color, right? This is kind of a light color but the inside of this band-aid is a light color a very light color so we'll see how a very light color stacks up and then these are all crystals obviously so when my black drills come we'll be able to test straight up drills, you know, over this crack. Well, not, it's not even a crack. What is, that doesn't, that's dark, darker. That's the wrong color. Um, it's overlap, that's what it is. It's an overlap. See, there 
a word for everything. I'm pretty proud of myself for figuring out this scale though. Down. I hate it when you do that. It really throws the whole thing off. Nice little snap together there. I don't know why I'm concentrating so hard on this. I just realized that I'm not talking. I, I mean, I am like full on concentration here. <laughs> I have to tell you, I'm very, I'm very happy with these drills I got. These are the, these are the crystals I got from Amazon. I really like them. I really do. So I can feel the canvas underneath there. All right, we're done this color. Now I'm not doing this color over here because remember we want to merge we want to merge. So I'll, right, I'm not doing this color over there. We're done. We're done this color. Now we're going to do this color. Now this is the, this is going to tell us a little more. Just another step in the process. Okay. We got one. We got two. Wow, these are pretty. We got three. We got four. We got, these are really pretty. Five, what color is this? Nine, four, five. I love this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to look this color up. Thank you. 
I also like the fact that you know with these cross stitch pattern designs you you know you could just take the liberty to like do what I'm doing totally change it up you know instead of using any of the colors I just use the similar colors and crystals they're not exact like the DMC's don't match they're just in the same color family and um, turning the white to black because I, I think that the crystals will stand out more with a black background that's the only reason why I decided to do black okay let's let's look let's look what do we think what are we thinking guys can you see where I attach the two pages in the drills I can feel where I gotta push one down can you see it mm, now if you look sideways Can you see it? Let me get this out of here. Not really, huh? Hmm, not really. So here's the thing. We did these two pages, not too shabba, not too shabby if I do say so myself. I mean, I was really concerned about this because it is very thick, very thick. So, and the reason why, you know, I'm going to cut it off up to here. So that's why these, I could add more adhesive here to, to glue. These are together. Like, look, these are together. So, um, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm going to finish up this half and we'll see how it works. And then, um, I'll do a part two with the second half or um, maybe just a third panel and we'll see how it attaches this way um, with all this overlapping, you know what I mean? So we have to be careful with all the overlapping. So I already cut off part of this overlapping so we'll see all right so oh my glasses were here okay so um here's the deal the black drills are not from um they're from amazon and they're not going to be here until like in in may so I found this pack of black square drills from Diamond Art Club um, that I started laying down. And I'm gonna show you guys what I got so far here. Um, the the dry, Diamond Drills USA were actually the colors for my coffee, my starry coffee. So I'm going to finish that. And then I'm going to give you my opinion on this, on this canvas paper and building a, a bigger canvas with it. My thoughts on that. So let me, I'm gonna do one more. That's where I'm gonna end it. Okay. 
Can you tell? Can you tell? It's right here. Can you tell? You see that? What do you think, guys? I, I mean, honestly, like looking straight on at it, I can't tell. I can't tell looking at it. But even though I can't tell, like I can't see it, I think that it's just not as comfortable putting these together as it would be something as as thin as the transparency paper. I'm going to get transparency paper, not for a while, um, just because I, I, I got too much going on. <laughs> to be trying more stuff. But I do want to try the transparency paper. Now I know why she used specifically that. I can't see the, I can't see where the drills, like I can't see if I look, even if you look that way, you can't really tell. If you look this way, you can't tell. See, but I don't know. I kind of like the idea of something flatter. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to have to um, eventually get to where I connect all four panels <clears throat> and show you how it looks with all four panels connected and see how that looks too, to just to compare, you know, because like right now, um, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad, but I'm still thinking maybe it's just the process is a little more complicated than I thought it was going to be. I think that this is great for like one, for a, like, uh, at first I was thinking this is, this is how I would want to do a large project because it's more sturdy and all of that, but you know, it's heavier for the drills, but now I just got putty on my, um, now I'm thinking, maybe this is, this stuff is too, too thick to connect. I mean, it's working fine. Don't get me wrong. And it's nice. It's high quality. It prints up nice, it holds the drills nice. So maybe for those like one page quick projects, they're like really perfect for, you know, it really gives you that canvas feeling of working on a diamond painting, but, uh, See, this is my problem. Once I start diamond painting, ain't nothing stopping me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that because those those other I, I'm not gonna have enough with these black drills. 
So there's other black drills. Won't be here until May and I'll finish this project up. To give you guys an idea. Um, because let me look at it like this. See, if I turn it like this, I can see it. I can see it. I mean, not that I would look at or hang out my canvas upside down. <laughs> um, not that I would do that. This is this is just putty. It's annoying me though. It's never happened before. Okay. So can you see it? You can see it. See that little lip? I can't see it any other way. This is cute. Yeah, I'm going to keep working on this and I will let you guys know once I finish it up. I'm going to have to wait until May to get those drills, okay? But so far I'm going to say I'm not sure I like like I'd want four connections like that. <laughs> four connections like that. Yeah, I'm not sure I like that. Guys, I swear, this is the last installment. <laughs> I keep saying that I'm not coming back, I'm not coming back, I'm not coming back, and yet here I am again. I have been working on this stuff all day, and um, I'm gonna give you some of my conclusions. There will be a part two because I need to finish this. Uh, that being said, I did finish my starry coffee. How cute is this? Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm very disappointed in the drills that I got. I bought drills from Diamond Drills USA and yeah, I won't be doing that again. I, I feel bad saying that because I do understand they're small business. And, um, you know, I, I don't ever want to speak bad about a business, but I don't like their drills. And I'm just going to be flat out honest. Um, and so, I, you know, I'm, I'm just not going to buy them again. And I, I, when I was working with them, I'm like, did my grid shrink? Like, I honestly thought something was wrong with my grid because I was having a hard time lining the drills up. And, you know, I made the grid. So I'm thinking there's something wrong with the grid. Problem is, is the whole coffee cup was done already and, and that fit in there perfectly, right? This whole top was done. This whole area was completely done and it all fit in there perfectly. So now why all of a sudden am I trying to fill this in and things aren't fitting and, you know, I'm getting popping and, and I'm looking at these drills and I'm just like, cause I don't want to automatically assume it's the drills. So I'm like, okay, am I not placing them straight enough? I started single placing. Um, and I was like, these really remind me of. I hate to go back to this, but you know, the, the, the Mary's diamonds that I tried to do and gave up on these drills are very similar. Like there were different shapes and sizes in there, not shapes, different sizes in there. And, um, I noticed that when I was having a tight fit, when things were fitting very tight, um, I would just look for the smallest drills and, and those would tend to fit. So I thought, okay, these, are these acrylic drills? 
because that's what Mary's diamonds were. You know, and this is before Bella Art Dana Cole. This is like, just FYI, Mary's Diamonds is getting a complete revamp. It's in new ownership hands. They haven't opened since new owners bought it out. So this is this is all pre, you know, new ownership. And um, I I went on their website, and sure enough, there are acrylic drills. I'm gonna just say it. I don't like them. I don't like acrylic drills. Now I know, not a fan. So all these drills are Diamond Art Club, basically. They're Diamond Art Club, they're Ever Moment, and um, Oraloa. And they all fit perfectly. They all played together very well. They all did a good job. And then we have our acrylic drills. And they're just a hot mess <laughs> and it's a shame because you know i spent all this time on this painting if i had known honestly i would have ordered these i would have ordered these you just they're just there's just like one sticking up everywhere i can feel it i would have ordered these two colors off of amazon and gotten resin drills then um had i known um because I yeah I'm not I'm not messing with acrylic drills anymore, it it's just they're just too inconsistent and um, honestly for me, I mean look at the coffee cup. Okay, and then look all around it. It's not the grid. It's literally the same grid across. So what is going on? Um, uh, and so, yeah, that that was disappointing. Otherwise, this project was a lot of fun, and it's super cute, and I'm very happy with it. That being said, here is my, what's going to end up being four panel project. And um, yeah, I'm going to say that I'm not going to use these canvas papers for projects that need to be put together like this. I think you can see, you can see the line a little more. No, I saw it for a second there. If I hold it like this, you can see it. You see the line? Because the overlap, these are th so thick. Um, so I'm going to do this whole project. I want to see what it looks like and I want to show you guys. And I'm going to finish all four panels. I'm waiting on these black drills to come. And um, I really I, I, I really can't do very much more until they do come. So, um, and they're not coming until into May. So this part two of me finishing this canvas is, is going to, isn't going to happen until May. But um, yeah. So these, I feel like these are great for these one page projects. These little mini clip arts, perfect. And, um, you know, I have a whole bunch of them that I bought. So I'll be doing those with these. Pa Actually, I'm using all the papers because this is going to be four and this is one. So that's five sheets. So I don't, I'm out of them right at this moment. But that being said, um, when I buy more, it's going to be four. Like, I'm going to get another pack of them because I want to do that um, screen coffee coffee cup one that I showed you guys before. So I am um, I'm going to get another pack of them and just do these little one pagers. I really, now that I've done this process, I'm going to say, guys, I'm gonna get a pack of transparency paper. I, I um, and I'm gonna put them together like, like I'm doing here. So, you know, I'm just gonna use the double-sided adhesive. But um, I actually think this is a lot of fun and I really enjoy it. And I'm, I wanna do a larger canvas 
um, from Heaven and Earth Designs with the transparent. Well, I need to try the transparency paper. But I think that, you know, I mean, Tammy, she did large projects with them and she was throwing that canvas around like it was a hockey puck. No problems, nothing was falling off. And, you know, they, they're th so thin, I think, I don't know, I've never had a piece of transparency paper in my hands, but now I understand why she used those, those sheets. So, um, yeah, I really want to try it. I really, really want to try it. And, and I have a bunch of these four pagers as well. So I'm going to get a pack of transparency paper and I'm going to give it a shot. I also really love the way they look when you turn them over. I think that's so cool. So if you're looking to do this, I would, and you're looking to do a big project, do it Tammy's way. I mean, she's the master at it. She came up, she developed this and I would say do it Tammy's way. Um, yeah, when you look at it head on, I don't see anything. It doesn't look bad, but honestly, it just doesn't, I just don't like the idea of having this lip here, even if it's not obvious. I don't like the idea of it. I don't like how if you stack two or three pages on top of each other, it's like this thick, you know, and so you got to cut pages and everything. Like, I don't want to, I, I think that that's, it's getting a little, it's becoming a little more work. But again, I'm going to have to do the other half and like put it together and see how that works. So, um, you know, I'll work on that and I'll come back at you and let you know how this all turned out. But those are my thoughts on this canvas paper. I think it's great. I think it, you know, it works really well, but I, I'm personally going to stick to this one page, one sheet, um, project and I'm going to give the transparency paper I'm going to give it a go is basically what's going to happen here okay guys that's all I have for you today if you like this video if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out and if you want to see more from me go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Kim's Crafts I would love to have you this video is coming up in the future it will be in May you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Take care. Keep diamond painting.